lovelies! Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hi, I'm Angela. <laughs> if you're not and you're a returning subscriber, what's up guys? I miss y'all. Uh, I'm coming back with this calm, subtle, simple, everyday type of going out to baby showers and party to daytime look. <laughs> that was a whole long thing, huh? I was recently back in LA this past weekend for my little nephew's birthday one year one year he's one time is flying by quick guys i remember he was so tiny 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 i was there and i did this look i wanted to recreate it for you guys it's just i for that day i didn't wear eyeliner i didn't wear um false lashes i what else did i do i don't think i said it <laughs> um i was in a hurry so i did a simple look uh i just you know wanted to recreate it for you guys it, popped in my head um i really love this bold lip it was so nice i got i love it i i just i loved it and um yeah uh wanted to show you guys this look we created and show you show you guys um but before we do that let me just say we reached a hundred subscribers i know it's not like a million or something but it's a hundred uh, since I started my channel like ooh way back then I only had like a few subscribers and then when I brought it back up for beauty and stuff um, I've reached a hundred uh, thank you guys thanks for those who have stayed with me who have been seeing my videos who have been liking my videos if you guys came back thank you uh, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button because and a week or two or so or less than that I will be having a little not a big giveaway it's just a little tiny giveaway to show that I appreciate you guys actually taking the time out of your day to watch my videos and clicking that like button clicking that subscribe button um, follow my beauty Instagram so you guys could see everything there to uh, give away prizes and stuff but I will announce the date time and etc here on youtube um yeah uh thank you guys for a hundred probably not so much but it's something for me you guys and without further ado let's get into the video hi lovelies i'm back Duh. all right so we're gonna get into this tutorial i already did my eyebrows so you guys want to see how i groom tame do all that goodness with them and I'll link it down below. <laughs> so yeah, let's get to it. So first off, I am gonna prep these bad boys because because they're a little chappy. So what I'm going to use is the Listex Daily Conditioning Treatment, the CT Lip Protectant with the sunscreen SPF of <coughs> SPF of 20. I like this because it sinks into your lips. So by the time you need to like put your lipstick or anything it's like gone and you have to wipe it off so I already put moisturizer on and yes no I am loving the L'Oreal one it actually did help me a lot I am almost done okay so first thing we're gonna do is prime our eyelids and what I'm gonna be using is the thank me later eyeshadow primer you guys know I was like ride or die for this and I just stopped using it for some reason. But it's back guys. I'm gonna set everything using an Mary Kay eyeshadow brush, just a regular one. And I'm going to use coconut cream to just set everything up in place. I feel like this is a look that you could actually wear for any type of like daytime occasion like a baby shower or something like that. Uh, it's really simple, it's really quick. I actually had to do this in a hurry because it was already getting time and it was getting late. We're going to use a Luxie 231 small tapered brush. And we're gonna actually use Nugget. 
and we're going to put that into our crease. Now getting my Z palette, I'm going in with Falling Trees on my brownish pinkish tone. It happened guys, I don't know how the hell that happened. I was so pissed when I saw it. I was just like, what the fuck? I'm gonna use the same um, brush and put that color in the crease as well. So now, going back to our palettes, we're going in with caramel, and we're going in with the Wet n Wild flat brush. Just gonna pack it as much as you can, and we're gonna put that on the lid. Now going in back in with my Z palette, I'm going in with Desert Sand. I, I got this one from my sister-in-law because she got it in her Ipsy bag, but she doesn't really wear it. She doesn't wear like eyeshadow, so I was like, I can have it. So yeah, we're going in with that same brush. It's really simple, guys, so you don't really need to be going like back and forth with brushes. It's like simple, like three brushes you need. I'm just going to add this color just for like a little bit more of a to it you guys could just stick with um caramel color from the palette and just pack it on just going back in with your Lexi brush and you just gotta blend everything in okay and I think we're gonna just put like a little bit more of that falling leaf color for the brow bone, we're just going to use um, coconut cream again and just put it on there. So then what you want to do is just grab a wipey or anything you guys used to like clean up fallout and just clean it up. So guess what guys, I'm actually 11 weeks pregnant. I feel like I want to do um, something in my channel that has to do with pregnancy as well. So I know I'm probably not the only one that's going through this. And um, just like giving tips and like just like my journey wise, like how, how it is for me, how it's going. Um, just want to share with you guys, I guess. And just like, like I said, some tips and stuff. So give this video a thumbs up if you guys think that's a good idea, if I should do that. If, you guys don't think I should, then just keep that to yourself. <laughs> we have our face moisturized already, so now we're gonna go in with the professional primer. You guys know I've been loving it. I have to put it around my nose as well too because I have crates from like pimples and stuff like that. And then it's, whenever I put on um, foundation, it's very visible. So I just like to. I cover it with the primer and it works fine. It, it's perfectly fine. So then I'm just gonna skip this part. I'm just gonna like fast forward. <laughs> you guys know, ride or die for this right now, but it's already going bye bye. So, like last time, I wanna try a different foundation <clears throat> for oily skin. Perfectly like a matte finish, but if you guys have any recommendations of any other foundations, um, Please let me know in the comment, a comment below because I do want to try another one once this is gone. I have like this much left now. So yeah, just let me know guys because I really, really want to try something new um, once this is done. So yeah, I'll just be right back and you'll see me with foundation. Bumps. Alright, so, um, I my hair's looking kind of crazy right now, too. Alright, 
so concealer I'm using the bye bye under eye and tan full coverage anti-aging waterproof concealer I've been loving this lately I this is what I've been using a lot when I don't want like so much of a brightness under my eye this is what I use I always go in with this sponge and then with a the brush layer just to like really blend out like the fine lines of it like the inner part of the eye just to smoothen it out and then I go back in with the sponge just to blend it out very well it's full coverage too so ha whoa I look so crazy right now trying this new lighting situation here guys so bear with me all right and to set it i'm going in with the wet and wild contouring palette in caramel toffee and the stay matte by remel so what i do is i do this first under my eye and then the yellow powder and then i go in everywhere with this so if it seems like a lot to some of you sorry but this is how i do it it's because i get really really like crusty musty under my eyes um mainly because i get oily and like i smile and laugh a lot so i'm using an elf powder brush you guys can use whatever you guys want and i like patting it around my nose because i get oily there too and then using an elf contour uh, Concealer, flawless concealer brush. I go in with this. It's also just to brighten my under eye even more when I want it to be brightened even more. But remember, you guys don't have to do all these steps. Do whatever you guys like, whatever you guys prefer to do. Next, I am going in with the LA Pro Concealer in espresso to do contour before I powder up the whole face so I'm gonna do my nose contour damn it's super windy outside and going with the bottom part of the sponge I have the the contour uh, the real techniques um, sponge but I still have my old one and it still works perfectly fine even though it's like ripping and stuff but I still use it wash it and use it just for like small stuff like that never for my foundation now for bronzing up the face I'm going in with um, the bronzing palette by Elf makes and match my blush one and my contour one so I'm going, going to be going in with this these two colors it's like a curly blush and this is um, like a like not light but subtle uh, contour bronzing color. Now using my Wet Wild um, blush brush, I'm going in with the curly color, corally color. And it's very pigmented. If you guys have it, you guys should know. It's very pigmented. For my highlight, I used Wisp from ColourPop, the Super Chic Cheeks highlight. And I love this. I think I'm about to hit pan because I see like rings around it now. But I use the um, Taper Highlighting Brush by Lexi, the 522. I just like, I just dig in there. I'm just like, mm hmm. But mm. bam! I love this highlighter. Make sure you set your face. I'm gonna set it before I continue my eyes because I know mascara is gonna go everywhere, so I'm just not. I'm not gonna deal with it. 
So set that real good. Now continuing with our so eye. I'm gonna use the smudger by Scone. Use nugget under there. And then just use the Lexi brush just to blend it out. I always have trouble doing this one. And we're going to go in with the Wet n Wild Fergie Gel Liner in little black dress. Okay? We're going to actually try to do a wing. And I say try. Try because that day I didn't do a wing. So I didn't really want to deal with the whole... It's going big and stuff like that, but I want to put false eyelashes today, so I have to go in with gel liner, something of it, but we'll see. Since I can't really do this on camera, I'm actually going to do it off camera, and then I'll come back and show you. Alright, so, why is it always one messier than the other? Like, I tried. And the brush I used was from Beauty Basics. It's an eyeliner brush. <sighs> I tried. <laughs> I did. Alright, so the next thing I'm going to do is just prep my eyelashes. I'm using the CoverGirl Pumpify Blast Pro by CoverGirl. <laughs> now the eyelash that we're going to be using are the Kara Eyelashes number 110 in black. They look more natural. And now the lip color I used was the... Uh, ColourPop Lippy Pencil and Ultra Matte Lip by ColourPop, of course, with the collab of um, Karuchi Chan, Chris Brown's ex, a K pop line. And I have it in Rouge. Love it. Love it. Love it. I swear. Like, and um, how do you guys sharpen these shits? Because I sharpened mine and it came out a little funky. I don't know if you're supposed to sharpen it with the regular. Um, sharpener but they don't even look like you can sharpen them i thought they were like twisties but i guess not but yeah this is what i'm using there's the look let me just go do my hair real quick and i'll be back this is the finishing look guys I hope you guys enjoyed it. Give this video a like and subscribe. And see you guys until next time.